Hey guys, so this is my very first completed book flip through and it is Alice in Wonderland's Jane, Jane Summer Grayscale Coloring Book and I am just so excited to show you. So let's get started. This is the first page. And most of this, I have used my Cali Arts and my Ohuhu markers and my Pintel Sparkle Pops Duo Metallic Hybrid and um, Posca Pin throughout this book. And this page was completed in August of um, August 6, 2020. I really like how this turned out. This was my, of course, second one. And you can see the sparkle, sparkle, I hope. And this was completed on the 5th of August. I really love how the Mad Hatter turned out in this one as well. And of course, more sparkle. I didn't really use um, Posca pin on this one though. And I used my Cali Arts on this page. So this one. <laughs> this one I thought I had ruined, but I actually like how the Posca pin kind of brought him out. He like actually looks like a white bunny. And then I just outlined him with black Posca pin and he kind of looks 3D. So I really like how it turned out at the end. And I used my Pentel Sparkle Pop in Duo Metallic Hybrid. Oh, and this one was done on the 9th of August. And this one, I believe I used my Cali Art still in this one and my Pintel Sparkle Pops. And this one was completed on the 10th of August. This one I was in the car. I started doing this book when we went to Lake Tahoe. And uh, I was in the car driving and I got a smudge on her hand from the Wink of Stella because I pushed too hard and the glitter kind of splattered all over the place. So yeah, this is the, the gold right here, I believe is the Pintel. And this was also completed on the 10th of August. This one, I think I was starting to get into my Ohuhu markers and I really love how the purple background came out and of course there is more glitter and I use a little bit of Posca pin on this one and this one was completed in the 11th of August. I love how this one turned out. This one got a lot of likes on Instagram and I just love how she turned out in the sparkle. I don't know if you can see just how shiny that really is but I really, really like how she turned out, and this one was done on the 12th of August. This is when I kind of started getting into blending with the markers. Um, I like how the cat turned out, except he does look a little bit harsh right in here, but it was the first time of blending, you know, it's a learning curve with blending with markers, and this was done with my Ohuhu markers and my Cali Art markers, I believe, and a little bit of Posca pin around her hair. This one I really, really like. Again, it's a little bit harsh, but I was practicing my blending skills with the markers and I used Posca pin for the outline of the clouds this time around. Usually I use my um, glitter marker, uh, glitter, uh, gel pens <laughs> for um, the 
outlining stuff, but I decided to just use my Posca pen. And I just kind of left him alone with the glitter, except for the hearts. I did put a little bit of glitter in the hearts, but the rest of it is just plain and simple. And I finished this on the 28th. Did I mention? I finished this one on the 14th of August, and I finished this one on the 28th of August. I really, really like this one. I mean, look at how sparkly and shiny this one is in the background. Um, Uhu markers, I believe. Pentel Sparkle Pop Duo Metallic Hybrids. And I did this one on the... I think I did... No, the 3rd. I did this one on the 3rd of August because this one was the first one that I did. And then I decided to um, go to the first page of the book and start from front to finish, front to back. This one, I didn't really know who she was. So I just kind of went with my own color scheme and I really like how she turned out. Again, I tried with the blending and I did this one with my Ohuhu markers. And I just wanted this page done because like I said, she didn't interest me. I didn't know who she was. And this one was, yeah, done with my Ohuhu markers and no glitter. So, and this one was done in September of, um, on the 14th. Oh, I love this page. This one was really, really fun. Excuse me. Really fun to do. Again, I tried to blend just a little bit with the mushroom. I don't know if you can tell. With the stem of the mushroom, I tried to blend, and then her hair is full of Lincoln Stella. I don't know if you can even see how sparkly that is. And I did this one with my Ohuhu markers. This one, I believe I did on camera. I forget. Oh, and I think I need a date. This one was done on the 15th of September. I did this one with my uh, Pentel Boo Metallic Hybrids and my Ohuhu markers, and this one was done on September 18th. This one, I just went Posca Pen Heavy and Ohuhu markers, and I love how pastel the background looks. And I just love how my little dude turned out with the sparkles. Very little glitter on this one except for her eyes and the dots and the hearts. And I did this one in October, um, uh, 6th of October. This one, I really love the colors in this one. And I did this one with Pintel Sparkle Pops. And this one was done on the 10th of October. I really love how she turned out. I love how I gave her like um, inner corner highlight. And um, I love how I did her eyeshadow on this one. And I love how I outlined the clouds with the Pintel pink gel pens. And I kind of outlined, like I highlighted her hair with uh, the gel pens instead of highlighting it with um, Posca pen. And I got this done on the 10th of October. I got this one done on the 10th of October with my Ohuhu markers and Pentel Sparkle Pops. This one I got done on the 2nd of August, so I think this one was my first one that I did. Um, obviously, because it's on the 2nd. Ooh, look at how sparkly and shiny. And... Uh, this was done with my Cali Arts, because I didn't have a Hoo Hoo markers then. But yeah, look at my, look at how sparkly it is. But yeah, this was done on the 2nd of August. And this one was done in November 13th with my Ohuhu markers and very little sparkle, just on his little, his hat and his little spoon. This one was done this month on the 11th, and I got the idea 
from Michelle, I think, to do the border in rainbow colors because I was torn. I didn't know what to do. I was running out of ideas. And I love how the Mad Hatter and she turned out. And of course, I used my Pintel Sparkle Pop and probably dual metallic hybrids. I also got this one done on the 11th of November and uh, of this month and uh, I decided to leave him just the way he was with no glitter and I really actually love how he turned out. This one was done on the 19th of this month. Very little sparkle just on the letters and on the clouds and in her eyes. Oh and I guess I did the the watch too in the rabbit's eyes. I like how the stone and the wood turned out. This one was done on the 21st. I kind of like how this one turned out and I like how her eyes turned out and of course I did this one actually with my dual metallic hybrids and my Ohuhu markers. And I did this one on the 21st, if I haven't said already. And last, but certainly not least, I just completed this today on the 25th of December. And very little sparkle on this one. And I did this with my Ohuhu markers. And I love how it turned out. And I did this on camera with you guys. So, yeah, I think... On the other side, next here, I'm not going to stick with the storyline too much, and I'm just going to probably do random skin tone colors, random hair colors, you know, random background colors, all of that. I just wanted to stick to, like, the story of Alice in Wonderland on the first side and do her, like, kind of the same in each page. So... Yeah, this is my very first completed coloring book, and I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey of watching the coloring book um, being completed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!